G'day, welcome back to Conan Exiles. So I've been doing a little bit of building in between episodes and I got a fair bit done. I had to install another mod, um, which is that triangle mod I was talking about, which extends the uh, the foundation range of triangles or the, the structural support range. Um, it's this section here, right here. I couldn't get the roof on um, without putting a giant pillar, like, all the way through the middle here. Um, even with the mod on, I had to put these walls in the, uh, storage area, but I think it'll be okay. Um, because we're gonna have, like, containers in here. So I think that still, still looks okay. But I'll take you upstairs and we'll have a look around. So here's the second floor. I tried to do something a little bit interesting with the roof, and yeah, I think it looks alright. Um, I've left these squares here because I was thinking about putting some hanging braces there. I think that might look pretty cool. And um, we can't actually get onto the roof from here. I wonder if we could climb out the window. I'm sure we can. Um, hmm. All right, so that's as far as I've gotten so far. Um, yeah, so those... <clears throat> Those towers are going to continue up a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with all this. Um, I did originally attempt to uh, get another set of stairs up here. Because um, I was going to turn all of this into a map room right up the very top. And it, the the map room is too big. Like it, It'll take up the entire space, including all of that. It even uh, clipped into these pillars, like, yeah, so there was, there was just not enough room. And if I made the room wide enough for it, it would make the base look weird because I'm I'm trying to taper it in at the top at the moment and I would have to expand it out to get the map room in. It would just, yeah, it would look really weird. So, unfortunately, it's not going to work. Um, the next base I design, I'll have to keep that in mind, um, that we need a lot of space for the map room. Um, I'm thinking of uh, just building it down on the ground there. Well, like, building some foundations out and stuff, but just having it out in the open. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Ideally, I'd like to protect it, but uh, I don't think that's... Um, going to be feasible in this build unfortunately so yeah the the bases are coming along I'm hoping that'll be big enough probably should have extended this bridge out a little bit further okay Let's, um, we'll just have a look here, get a, a feel for it. Obviously, we don't want it in the water. We're going to fill in the foundations, but... That looks pretty good. It's not in the middle, though. Yeah, I think, I think it takes up all of that space. Probably want to push it out to the right, maybe two foundations, because I'd like to have a raised section around the entire thing. So we can look down onto the map. Let's just try that. That one's inside the foundation. Yep, 
Yeah, I can't access any of them. Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, it's because I'm too high. All right, let's let's put this on hold. We'll finish this later after I get some more black ice. Oh, what a shame. All right, now all my shit is in here. Um so yeah, the purge, nothing happened. Um while I was building this, it said um it said the wave of scorpions had been defeated. I went back to base and uh, and checked on it, and it looked like absolutely nothing touched it. So, who knows? Who knows what happened? Um. All right. I wanna I wanna do something crazy today. Um. We're gonna go into the volcano and take on the well of Skelios. Because I want the Serpent Man weapons. Shit, if we're doing that, we should take the Obsidian with us as well. Okay, so first thing we need to do is work out what we're going to actually take. How much Obsidian we're going to make. We've got plenty of steel. So it takes 10 obsidian and um, 1 steel to make composite obsidian. So if we take the 6,000, well, we take 6,000, we'll have to take 600, 600 steel with us. There we go. You can take that. Hmm. Can we upgrade these swords? They're, oh, they're doing 52 damage. That's, that's pretty good, but I think we can do better now, can't we? Isn't there? A, yeah. Fuck. This whole time we could have made exceptional star metal greatsword for the guys. So we just need a couple of long handles, which I'm pretty sure the carpen carpenter can do. Alright, so these are, well, they were 59 damage. And now they're 65 damage. Holy shit. It's a big upgrades for these guys. Nice. Um, I don't have a dismantling bench. Well, I do. I just haven't placed it yet. So we'll just throw those in there. Alright. You've got all my stuff for the obsidian. You are nothing. All right, so dodging costs less stamina or um, we work on the vitality tree. The next perk is increased healing effect of consumables and dances by 100%, so doubles their effectiveness. And then the one after that, eating food now counts as a healing potion and provides a healing burst at the beginning of the regeneration effect. Plus, putting points into vitality increases our health pool as well. Sure. Here we go. Working towards that. Cool. Um, yeah, so I've lost my... Um, my damage buff, my war paints... Um, and I don't think I have any more. I do. Alright, we'll take both of those, and this one's going to be equipped. So that gives us 43. 
Yeah, 43. Um, which also gives us... So now we're doing 108 total melee damage with the daggers. Now, um, we should probably go up the top, right? Oh, we should probably call the elevator first. So I am going to probably go this way. Run up through there because there's no enemies up there. And then we can run straight down through there. See if I can find a way over that cliff there. If not, we might have to run around. Nah, no, we're not going to have to run around. I'm pretty sure I might be able to run up this ramp here. And then go across. Go across here. And then the entrance we're looking for is that there. So then we'll come down here and we'll go in. Um, that reminds me, we need to make sure we've got plenty of cooling shit. Yep, okay, that's good. Plenty of healing shit. We need heating shit as well for the ice. Yeah, okay, we're, we're good, ready to go. Alright, you boys are ready. There it is. Big toothy moor. Okay, now before we go in, I'm going to change out my clothes because I had the winter gear on. And we are going to change over to our cooling down stuff. I probably should have sent the boys home before we went in. Wait, which way do I go? This way? Um, send sidekicks home. Pretty sure we can handle anything we encounter until we get to, like, the boss fight and stuff. Oh, I don't need to go this way, do I? Just instantly thought <laughs> that I had to parkour my way over there. Alright. Now. We want to get inside there. There's lots of stuff I haven't explored in here. I've only, like, done the dungeon, and that's pretty much it. Whoops. Pretty sure we only get, like, demon blood and shit from him, so... Oh, actually, I think we there's a chance you can get gold. Fuck. <laughs> I'm dropping all that shit. Fuck you. Um, yeah, I don't even care about that. Look, this fuck off. I think there is a chance you can get gold from those guys. Are these guys mean? I think they are. Um, now there is some stuff right up the very top as well, but we're gonna be we're gonna be walking up there. I can't remember what's up there, but that's where the dungeon is. Um, oh God.
Okay, cool. So there's some stairs on the outside to go up to the next level. Um... Does this look like the climbable part? I I hope it is, because if we fall, what about the overhang? No, what are you, what are you doing? Go forward. Go up. Where's that archer? Um, here it is. Holy shit, we didn't even need to do the dungeon. That's the stuff I wanted. Okay. Um, so we can go back and make that stuff or what if we need obsidian to make it that could be an issue maybe we should do the dungeon yeah we're going in we're gonna get obsidian um all right that's that's the dungeon there's the forge, but we can't use the forge until we kill the boss in the dungeon, I think. Yeah, because he gives us the recipe. That's right. Um, so where do we want to... Where do we want to go? Yeah, this will do. But instead of going down to there, we're going to go across to there, I think. So I am going to send them home again. It's not, it's not worth the risk. Their lives are more important to me. What, what are you doing? that oyster? Why do you have oyster flesh on you? You weirdo. Um, yeah, I think it's that way. I think that's the way we're going. He's got an obsidian mace, obsidian arrows. Ah, obsidian greatsword. I'll take that. Might be able to give it to one of the guys. You, you douchebag. That was mean. Obsidian sickle. What do you say? Yeah, fuck that. Is this the right way? Yeah. 
Okay, they were super weak. How much does that greatsword do? 48. Ugh. I guess we could break it down. We might get some obsidian out of it. Oh my god, did you kill the boss without me even knowing? Jesus Christ, dude. Maybe it's this way. Let's try this. Oh, I should probably get these guys to follow me as well. Um, thanks. Appreciate the help, guys. Mm, yes. Okay, this looks good. Yep. I think there is another way, um, but it involves jumping over a, speaking of which, um, go home. I don't want you guys falling off this. Um, but it, yeah, it involves, um, it involves, uh, jumping over a, a ledge, like, um, it's a big jump. It's not cool. Ah. Do we want to go this way? What are these? Fuck your eggs. I don't think we go this way. Well, that's the dungeon, because I remember the purple glow. Um, can we not go that way? Why, why do we have this? Maybe that's, you can come from the other way as well. Oh, fuck it, I don't know. Let's just go down this way. Let's go blindly towards our target. Um, okay, so we've definitely got to go through that stupid thing. Sucks. Um, okay. So we would have come through there, I believe, and then we need to kill this guy and then get into there. Yes, this is the gatekeeper, right? You guys better not be fighting like that in the boss fight. Need to actually pull your weight. Totally fine, totally fine. Haven't even fucking taken any damage. All right, let's do a little bit of a repair ski on the old daggers. Um, we're getting closer. Do we want to go that way? I mean, that seems more logical than going that way. Sure. Let's try our luck. Fuck it. Alright, 
Summon the boys. The trap is a hedron. Um, I don't even know what that is. I'm just here so I can use your forge. Yeah, the boys would be able to kill these things super easy. In fact, the uh, the broken bottle is probably better for this. It does more um, more damage per hit. Alright, just gotta kill a few few waves and then we get to fight the boss. Oh, okay, and he just dies apparently. Destroy whatever dwells at the heart of the volcano. What do we get from you? Nothing useful. I thought we had to kill him to get the recipe for the forge. Um... I don't see anything here though. Wait, here it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, all the obsidian. Um, ugh. Silver bars. That's somewhat useful. Potent compost. Uh, steel. Pretty terrible loot. Where is, um, can we make obsidian now? Did that come with that? Fuck, I hope so, because I don't want to go all the way back out and <laughs> find out that we can't and we have to come back down here. Um, is there anything on the chair? No. Alright, so that's the way we came in. So this is the way we should exit. Yes, we can make it. Okay, cool. Um, Leon, you got the stuff? Oh no, Pascal's got it. Thanks, buddy. Now we're making obsidian. Cool. I'm going to wait for this to finish so I can leave the dungeon. <laughs> I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, we're all done. I'm going home. I'm taking, taking my composite obsidian and I'm going home. And my serpent man weapons. Well, the... Um, schematics. Should I send the boys home now? It's probably a good idea. Alright, cool. It's night time. That's, <laughs> that's perfect. Um... Can't see shit. There it is, there's the path. I'm just gonna ignore everything and just run straight home. I'm done. Oh. 
I will take some more of that. Just because I can. Alright, well, I've got a long, long run home. I will, uh, I'll see you guys there. Okay, we are back. And we have Composite Obsidian. We can make exceptional daggers. I, I'm not 100% sure if they're actually better than what we've got. I think we might actually have better. Let's um, let's have a look. Obsidian dagger, 34. <laughs> yeah, ours are, ours are definitely better that we have. Um, I believe the tools are better. But the thing is, there is no obsidian pickaxe. There's only a pick and a hatchet. Which isn't here. Oh, this gives you all the tools, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not, uh, I'm not too keen on it. I'll, I'll take the sickle, at, well, I've already got a sickle now, um, and the skinning knife. Is there a cleaver? There's no cleaver, is there? No. So we've still got to go with the one we've got. Alright, well, that, uh, that kind of sucks. Here I am thinking we were going to get a really good upgrade. We, um, we already had something better. I will keep uh, a couple of these on me. I do, I, I want to try them out. And, um, no, I'll keep, I'll keep that as well. It is really useful in certain situations. Um, but yeah, but the daggers, I'll, I'll break those down. They're shit. And I'm going to break these down as well the obsidian um they're already damaged aren't they i'll i'll take the sickle all right well that was uh kind of disappointing but it was fun nonetheless going through the volcano and wrecking shit so i am gonna leave it here i've got um a little bit of inventory management to to do to to get all this shit sorted out but that's all right I hope you enjoyed the video guys as always don't forget to lead your targets and I will see you next time.